Eleven Labs has finally released their much anticipated AI song generator, which they claim generates the best AI music to date. I spent thousands of credits creating songs, and I'm really impressed with what I've been hearing so far. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Eleven Labs music, along with showcasing its audio quality. After logging in, you can click on the music button, and there's also an option under products on the left. For now, the UI is very basic. This doesn't offer the same level of customization as other AI song generators just yet. In the prompt box, you can type in what you want your song to be about. You can either type in as much detail as you want, or you can type in something as simple as create a hip hop beat. If you want the song to be an instrumental, there's no toggle like other AI music generators. Eleven Labs is intuitive enough to know that because you're not including something like male vocals in the actual prompt, you want an instrumental created. The number here, if you click on it, this is the number of variants that you can create with right now, it's up to four different variants of a song. Clicking on the auto button is an indication of how long you want the song to be. For now, the minimum is 30 seconds and the max is four minutes. But if you don't care and you want to leave it up to 11 labs to determine the length of the song, you would just leave it on the auto option. Clicking show more only brings up a list of songs that you've recently created. Once your song is generated, you can cycle through and play each variation on the right and toggle through them. This one is an old school blues song. Take a listen. Woke up this morning, heart was running low. Amp the street echoes where the neon goes. My six chains crying, pouring out my Eleven Labs will automatically name the song, but you can very easily just click into it and make changes. It may not be apparent, but under the include styles and exclude styles, you can actually click into these. So it's not just about removing them by clicking the X button. If you wanted to add, let's say, drums and hit enter, you're going to see that Eleven Labs has now updated and it prompts you to regenerate the song. And then once that's done, of course you can play the song, but on the right hand side, there's now a history section that's building. But if you want to edit the original prompt, up at the top right, there's a pencil, just click on that to edit prompt, make your changes, click generate. Or if you want Eleven Labs just to generate another variation, there's a plus symbol right next to it. Another way to add or remove sounds is doing that by editing specific sections of a song. There is a small icon on the left and it has a musical note on it. If you click on it, this will actually bring up the styles in that specific section. So if you wanted to edit it and remove certain things or add certain things in, you would do that. You would click save and then you would regenerate the song. Editing lyrics is very intuitive. You click into the specific section that you want to edit. As soon as you start making changes, it'll highlight in yellow. Make your edits and click regenerate. To add new sections of a song, there's a few ways to do this. One way is, let's say for example, I wanted to add a section under verse one. Just to the left of that musical note icon, there is an add section below. As soon as I click on it, I can immediately get into it, start editing lyrics. If I wanna add styles, click that icon just on the left, and I have a, a blank canvas that one can start adding styles and enhancing the song even further. You can also scroll to the very bottom and click add section. And then on the timeline, if you scroll all the way to the very end, there's a button there as well on the bottom right. Making changes to the timeline is pretty intuitive as well. If you want to shorten a song, highlight over the section and there's these vertical bars that you can grab and you can pull in or expand in order to trim certain details. And if you want to just remove a section altogether, just click the X button on your keyboard and those sections will be removed. Alternatively, if you wanted to move them around, you can just click down and grab, and then within the timeline, move everything around to where you want it to be. Downloading songs is self-explanatory. There's a big download button at the bottom right. 
Just keep in mind that at least for now, Eleven Labs isn't offering the ability to download stems, and the song that's downloaded is in an MP3 format only. Clicking the share button brings you to a page where you can create a visualizer with your song, you can change the color, you can select the specific clip at the bottom, and then all you have to do is just click export. Now what I love about this interface is you can just edit your songs by continuing to type in the prompt box. I have this hip hop instrumental, take a listen. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go to the prompt box and type in add a voiceover and click regenerate. Here's the version of the instrumental with the voiceover added. In the heart of the city, when the lights dim low, rims breathe life into the midnight soul. And then at this point, I could click into each section. I could add sections and I could continue building out the lyrics, clicking regenerate so that Eleven Labs builds out the song. Because the platform has robust language options, it's very easy to just write in, make the voice over Spanish. And then once it's regenerated, it's now updated to the new language. It's even the same thing if you wanted to add specific sounds. If this was a rock song and you wanted to add a guitar solo, you would just type in add guitar solo. There's endless additions and combinations that you can add by simply typing them in. Now let me play you a range of songs that I've created with these thousands of credits that I've spent over a number of genres. This one's a rock song. This one is an EDM kind of a song. This one's a folksy kind of a song, kind of like in the style of Taylor Swift. Morning light upon the window pane, whispers of the dawn that call your name. Every breath a story left untold, in the hush we learn to heal our souls. This one is a thrash metal song. This one is an R&B song. In the hush of the nice glow Feel the way the shadows Your voice a distant memory Haunting all my echoes Every heartbeat draws me closer To the edge where darkness meets desire Overall, I'm very impressed with Eleven Labs' first entry into AI music. The user interface is intuitive and easy to figure out. The song quality is the best that I've heard yet out of all of the AI song generators out there. But if you're someone who wants ultimate customization over your songs, you'll want to wait a little bit until Eleven Labs improves the customization options. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Eleven Labs music updates because I plan on making more videos as Eleven Labs continues to evolve the platform. And if you're looking to learn more about getting creative with AI tools, I have more content that you can click on right here.